my pink purse. No, that was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if the rascal color stays at the rascal. Yeah, exactly. But if you want to share oh, some stories. Well. How are you? Good, 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 good. I have no stories. Oh, sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah. So thoughts about your position group in the early going? Uh, going well. Uh, you know, Brandon Watson, David Long, uh, LaVert doing really well, having a really good camp. Uh, Ambry Thomas working extremely hard. He's right right behind those guys. Uh, yeah, good crew. And the young guys, uh, Jamon Green, uh, Miles, and, and Vincent. Vincent Gray. Got some talent. Got some talent. They got a long way to go, but uh, they've got some talent. Is Sammy Faustin working there too? Or is he Sammy, to Sammy's at safety. Okay. We're going to safety and uh, another young, talented guy who, you know, shoot only 10 practices as a Michigan Wolverine. So, uh, but you can see there's a lot of talent there. Ben right. still having a hard time staying healthy? or uh, Benny, Benny just got to learn to, he's, he's very talented. He just got to learn to strain a little bit. It's a lot of talent in the body, though. Unbelievable amount of talent. Could be really good. Where are the areas where you've seen Ambry Thomas make the biggest step up? Well, in his footwork. At the line of scrimmage, you know, we, all the man we play, we're very peculiar uh, about our technique. And that part of it, he has gotten better. And then, yeah, and we're, like I said, we're, we're, we're hard on him. We're really hard on him about our technique because uh, we play so much man. We got to be really good with the fundamentals, and that's where he's getting better. The way that David Long finished the season, Pro Football Focus had him as one of the top, if not the top, cornerback in the country. How did he progress, and how did he get to that point? He, he takes coaching. You know, he takes coaching. He studies. He's a great note taker. I mean, he, he's a professional. Uh, I mean, he's he really is. He's a great kid, great person, and uh, really excited for him. Really am, and he just works at it. The receivers pushing your guys. Uh, can you tell it after? Another yeah, I, yeah. I, I, from from spring till now, those guys have gotten better. I mean, it, it's and we work together quite a bit. You know, Coach Mack and I get together quite a bit now, so it's good. It's really good that we're going to a lot of in, in non-competitive situations in practice. We get there and we go competitive, so it's really good for us and it's good for them as well. Anyone in that receiving car giving your group particularly hard? Particularly hard time? No, I, I, not 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 really. You know, DPJ's been good. I mean, Nico. I mean, all of them. Tariq Back, Black, Oliver Martin shows flashes of, the, of coming out, and uh, Grant Perry. Love Grant Perry. Uh, you know, all those guys have been have been pretty equal. So you have a long way to go. The group has long, but didn't you feel like they came off a pretty good? Starting point. I, the young guys, the young our guys. young guys. Okay, got not the overall group. No, okay. like I said, B. Watt, David, and Levert, man, you know, we got to just keep them where they're at, keep them at that high level that they're practicing at, and those guys are good. The guys below them, you know, it's kind of like you got those three, then you got Bree, and then you got the young guys, the true freshmen. You know, those those guys, we got to, they got a long way to go, mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. sure. Mike, with, sure. those, with those three in Amber, do you, you ever see a situation where maybe, you know, for a couple years we've played three corners a lot. Do you see situations now where you, you can trust three corners more and have them all on the field? Well, oh, I definitely trust those first three. Yeah. I mean, shoot, they, they, they rotated all last year. So, and, and now they got another year under their belt. Really comfortable with those three and want to get to that point with Amber. And he's working towards that. He really is. Kron says he's the fastest guy on the team, Amber. He's fast. He's he is straight line fast, yes. Is that why he's got I mean, some wills? And he's giving the receivers trouble, I would think. Oh yeah, that. yeah. You know the long ball. I mean, they, they've got a couple on them. Mm -hmm. They've got a couple, but only because his technique at the top, he gets all turned around. If he just stays calm, he, he'll be in good shape. Which he's starting to learn to do, which is great to see. So is Amber going through the same stuff that like Levert and David were going through last yeah, summer? Just, yeah, just exactly. Time. Just the growing pains, you know. Uh, uh, he had a really good spring. And like I said, his, his fundamentals and his footwork, that's where he's getting better. Don talked about helping the safeties in different ways this year. How does that affect your group without going into detail? Uh, it really doesn't affect us at all. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're using linebackers more and coverage now, stressing them, uh, using safety with safety help more. So uh, it doesn't affect the, the corners at all. Mike, is, is Levert 100% healthy and how's he progressed? Yeah, he's, he's awesome, man. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's from, from the spring and 
<laughs> our little our, our little hiccup <laughs> with, with each other. I mean, he's 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 great. He's great in the classroom. He's been uh, doing a hell of a job in meetings. Uh, you know, he's being a leader, and it's good to see. That hiccup. But did you? Do you have many conversations with <laughs> no, him? Give no, him a we, no. Give him a glass of water to get rid of those hiccups? No, everything? we, uh, no, it's good. I mean, how does he get past that, though? He's I mean, past it. He is 100%. He heard your message he, through us. I think, then. I think so. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't, but it's all good, and that's where we want to keep it. Yeah, how many more times good. are you going to use us to get messages to your players? <laughs> Depends how many times they screw up. <laughs> 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 No, but I, I believe me, I, I get him in the in the mm -hmm. in the meetings and we, we have great great talks. Well yeah. it does seem to answer the bell though every time. It's not the first time you know, you've been critical of him or anything like that. Maybe not even critical, but yeah, I, challenged him. I, I, I think to, I've been yeah. He seems to answer the bell though every time. Well he's good. Yeah. He's a really good football player. So he should answer the bell. I mean she, the bell should be his. You know, I mean that he's that good. And I think that's what you guys are gonna see this fall. As, oh. as you did last fall. I mean, he's good. How can yeah. he get better this season? Well, he just stays focused and every day just continues to, to look at the opponent and understand the opponent. You know, you just can't look at one guy. I mean, you got to go week to week, and that's what he has to do. Just stay consistent in his approach to each game, and then he'll get better. You think David's been somewhat overshadowed by Levert? I don't know. I, I don't know that. He's certainly not here. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you guys in the press. Yeah, I, I don't. Just me. Just yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Detroit, Pasadena, sure. I, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. How yeah. would, are those guys pretty close when it comes to to talent? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Very close. Okay. Yeah. Very close. Who would you say from that group of young guys do you expect maybe can have a breakout? And make it? Uh, that's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Um, they've all, Miles has done, done something. You're like, wow, look at that. You know, Vincent Gray has done something. Jamon has done. I, 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 it would be hard for me to say because they're all three, like, right there in level. So you hope, hopefully, these next, this next half of camp, somebody out of that group steps up and separates themselves. Because it'd be nice to, to go into the season with five, knowing you got five. You've had Miles for a while now. How has he progressed since he arrived in January? Uh, he's coming. He's coming. Um, I was a little surprised that he wasn't more ahead of the other guys uh, this this fall, this this fall camp. Um, he's just, you know, he's young. You know, he's, he's and he just he's just got to he's got to take the next step and understand that you know this is Michigan and there's talent around him, and he's got to he's got to answer that bell. And he, he shows it, he shows it, but he's just got to be more consistent with it. How much have you seen the rest of the defense uh, elevate? Yeah, I, I, our, our ones are really good. You know, and I, I don't hold anything back there. I mean, they're just good. And, and hopefully that we can play together and as a group, consistent football at a high level for 12 plus games, because they're, they're that good. And, and uh, I hope, like I said, I, they, you guys seen them all play, and, and now they're all back. So the expectations are high, as they should be. You have a unique perspective on the quarterbacks. I mean, how, how do you evaluate where those guys are? <laughs> well, <laughs> you got, you know, Shea, Shea he, they're, they're different. You know, Shea's, Shea is a you know, playmaker with his feet, without a doubt. I mean, you can see that. Uh, Brandon is more of a pocket passer. Joe Milton has the strongest arm I've ever seen on, on any quarterback, and he's got great feet. And then you got Dylan McCaffrey, you know. He's got good feet, great athlete. So you've got, you've got, you've got four guys, and uh, they're all very talented in their, in their own little niche, their own little niche. So that's an interesting spot. And now I'll go back into my foxhole, on my side of the ball, <laughs> and I'm done. Well, Runyon, Runyon was here the other night saying the offense, <laughs> the offense has been tweaked. I mean, how has that changed how you defend an offense that's been tweaked? Yeah, it has been tweaked. I mean, I mean you got a guy like Shea that, that, that can move the pocket, so yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely tweaked, and you, you just 
you play different defenses. Although Don doesn't change much, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, we've done some things different. And not, you know, I don't want to talk about them uh, because of the opponents coming up, but we don't change too much. Mm -hmm. I'll just say that. So you're not in the mode of, remember last year we came out to us last August and you were, you were hot a little bit. So you're not in that mode now. I am like not in, in that mode. I am not in that mode. I am in a good place. The, the fellas got it, got us in a good place. Our room in a good place. Is there anything you'd like to say to Levert that Angelique can bring? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I love him. Yeah. Yeah. Have you looked uh, at Notre Dame film at all? Oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Your thoughts? We've been we've been watching a lot of Notre Dame film. Really, two really good receivers, mm -hmm. really good and talented, big tight end. Quarterback, kind of like our guy, great with his feet, good arm. So it, it, there's a challenge, and, and it's another name. Goodness, that's, that's going to be an exciting day for sure. When you have that fun. kind of length outside that they have on the uh, at wide receiver, what kind of challenges that pose for you know for your guys? Well, you know, just the size alone. You know, you stand them up next to each other. There's a, there's a little bit of a difference, but our our guys, you know, David, B. Watt. Levert, I mean, they're all very talented athletically. So, you know, I'll just get some bigger guys that when it's time and just work bigger guys against them and so they get used to. Plus, we defend Nico, Tyreek, DPJ. Those are not small guys. So they, they got a little taste of it. I just want to ask you one thing McElwain said in the spring. Sorry. Is uh, you know, you wanted to coach more you know, nice. receivers getting separation. Have you seen that? Have they been able to? Yeah, they have. They've, they've done a good job. They really have. Max, great coach, great addition to the staff, a really good person. But uh, you, you could see, you could see the difference in the receiving court. Like I said, we, we always are together, mm -hmm. you know, when, when we have time, which is a, a bonus for both of us. So it's been good. Iron Sharper and Iron is the player. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> All the time. That's the new saying, right? Thanks iron Sharper and Iron. Chris. You're welcome. It wasn't mine. They have it. That's it. All right, Thanks, guys. man. We're going to move All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.